my name is Aish Chowdhury and I'm from the University of Kent School of Music and Fine Art based at the historic dockyard Chatham. So this work is called Under a Peculiar Sun and it has a few different parts. So the first part is the large painting that you can see here and it's basically an abstract painting of the workshop at our university and I'm making work about my Crohn's disease which is a chronic illness and I'm focusing on the experience of being a chronically ill student and how that affects me. So instead of going against my illness I've been trying to work with it so my hands get shaky so I've been trying to um, bring that into my work rather than trying to go against it. So you can see the lines are shaking in the work um, and I'm wanting to go with that. And all these photographs are developed in the dark room and through my medication. So some of it's an effervescent medication which means it bubbles so you can see it kind of filters the images. And they're all um, modelled in period dress from the 1930s because I feel that that represents how my body feels because it's in between the walls. And um, they're all pinned on using lepidoptery pins which are used in taxidermy so that you can float the images a different distance in. And I feel that the pins also add a medicalised element to it. But um, the bright colours and everything, I want it to be a celebration of chronically ill students as well as um, raising awareness for the hardships that we go through. So it's not just a negative experience. Um, I also did some work about the closure of our university because there was only one year left of fine art at the University of Kent, sadly, despite our campaigning. Um, so I have a poem that I wrote about the closures and some images that I printed using lino cuts of our campus to preserve how it is now before it changes. Um, and then I also have a graphic novel um, of poetry that I created about pain because I feel that there is not enough language that explains pain and you need some kind of visual representation or metaphorical representation to share that experience. And yeah, there's another sketchbook of images of our campus and that's basically the work that I'm displaying today. This is a fragment of a larger work that is actually 12 foot by 8 foot, but sadly I couldn't bring it all the way up to Brick Lane from Kent. Um, thank you for listening to me and my Instagram is at weirdbitinteresting if you'd like to see more of my work. So, thank you. Thank you.